All right, guys, it's been a, been a bit of a minute here since we've done this. Let's get our login bonuses here. And you can see that this will be our 20th login. And I also left the 10th login bonus there just so you can see them. Grab those and yeah, I I did miss a day. Uh, usually I managed to at least sneak on here, but I missed a day a couple of, like about less than a week ago. But we're going to go ahead and we are going to hop into the next story chapter here. Check out Septem, aka go visit Rome. And get ourselves some more conversations here. Slept well enough, yeah. Right, right, this is... I... Be specific. Use me. Got a lot of contracts going, so if we have one dream, I'm sure that that's gonna mess up some people pretty badly. But, eh, well... We'll cross that bridge at some point in the plot, or maybe we won't. Unfortunately, you're stuck here. Yep. I'm not sure about that, but okay. Yeah, this will probably go fine. It won't be a disaster at all. It's not gonna... We're not gonna run into anything terrible. Nothing to worry about. Things always go super easily in this franchise. I mean, I... I think you're overselling it a little bit, but okay. Well, I mean, you can start with, do they want to kill us right away? Yeah, we just don't have the, the energy to do stuff like that, I guess. Yeah, we kind of we kind of don't want to get into too many fights because that just wears us down. As you've probably noticed occasionally from when I've streamed this, that yeah, this could get a little bit well grindy, to say the least. Oh, I'm sure that I'm sure that he's going to back anybody in this series up mentally. Nobody Nobody likes you too much, Ramon. I'm sorry. At least not in universe.
Also, I just realized that I forgot to switch over my thing. I think I brought out Streamlabs chatbot because it could help me with that. I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now. Give me just a moment. Can I not edit that from here? Okay. <laughs> I will have to remember to do that in, uh... I'll have to see if I can set that up for the, the chatbot. It should be able to do that being that it's a moderator and everything. Should being the key word here. Alright, there we go. Fixed it. Let's get back to things here. Let's move that over a little bit so that way I can make sure that I see that. And that's the wrong thing. Wow. Good job, me. That's for a project I may never get back to. And minimize the chatbot thing and click over the correct window. Wow, I'm, I'm screwing this up a little bit today. Let's go ahead and let's start in on this. Alright, so... You'll actually get to see something here, is that I actually added my main... ...as an account on here as a friend, so you can see some of the characters that I've got. And... Well, uh, who am I gonna take here? I'm gonna take Phantom and show him off. Actually, I'll take Sherlock. He's just generally pretty good. And also, you can see that our party is looking a little bit different from last time. Mostly because I've been grinding out the event a little bit here. When nobody's been on. Or when I haven't been streaming. Because that will, uh... There, there's some rewards for that that are nice. Go back to the story. I mean, well, I guess that Mosh has never really seen the real world because she's, well, that's again, spoiler territory. But also the fact that you're saying you've seen it on film and we're specifically in the the Roman Empire. That seems a little strange. Because that could not be filmed. For obvious reasons. That the technology didn't exist. And yeah. Yep, so we're gonna get to look at the uh that thing. Well I don't think you should stare up at it very much. Because, yeah. We're gonna get to... Excuse me, we're gonna get to find out what that is later on. Much later. I think the technology is just breaking down a little bit because there's two people around to maintain it. Reign of Emperor Nero. During a time when people actually kind of liked him. Well, it needs sheep. Well, we've got... We got something that looks like a cheap cat fox thing. Oh, some people are upset at us already. Wow. Wow. 
We just showed up, guys. Jeez. Oh wow, who would have guessed? The historical anomaly. It's like this is the entire point of the franchise. And especially this game. Oh, so the Romans are fighting each other? That's, uh, that's slightly odd. Not getting reads on it. All right. Oh, I, I get it. it. It's in reference to the fact that well, we'll find out in a second. I'll explain it then. Because it's easier to do it that way. Trust me. Let's get a loading screen and... We'll fight some Romans, I guess. Do, 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 do. Come on. You can do it. Put your butt into it. Well, okay, I'm pretty much already has. Alright, so as usual, with a character who can charge their own meter, you want to do that as soon as possible. Unless it will otherwise screw you up, but that will not. We might be able to one-turn this because we've leveled our characters up quite a bit since last time. As you can no doubt tell if you look down. But I wouldn't necessarily blame you if you did not do so. We've got another wave to deal with here. Again, should be pretty easy to deal with. And as I've probably mentioned before, Sherlock has a lot of attack power to him. He can fight pretty well. So, yeah, no need to be concerned when he's pulling the weight. Especially when the enemies are this weak. We've definitely seen much stronger before at this point. That's quite a sound effect. Not as bad as that one. Again, I'm glad I turned the volume down a lot for that, otherwise your ears would probably fall off from hearing that. And I forget if this is one fight or two for this quest. This quest. Maybe even more stages than that. This particular chapter. Oh, hi, Saber. Oh, wait. That's a different character entirely. Who looks like mostly the same. Oh, she said the thing. Who's this shouty nerd? Yeah, we're just passing through. Right, okay. Um, yeah, so... When they said that she kind of looks like Jean, she really, really does not. Obviously, she looks more like Saber from the original Fate Stay Night. Because that was something they was a design decision. Basically, uh, Takeuchi, the 
usual artist for characters for the series is infamous for not being able to draw much facial variety. So Jean and Jean and original Saber basically looked exactly the same, aside from the outfit. And so that kind of got memed on a lot. So you'll see a lot of characters who look very similar to, first of all, to the original Saber in terms of face, but also in terms of outfit. And Nero over there is one example. Oh no, I spoiled that it's Nero. Is one of many examples of that. Let's switch things up. I will show off this guy. Ryder Kintuki, who is one of the most powerful of the freely available servants in the game. Unfortunately, both runs of his event have passed. And I don't think he's going to be very accessible for a while. And even then, that'll require some some gimmickry. I warned you about Sarah's bro. Wait, no, that's something else. It's a long story, okay? That's basically what basically what she does in the first place. She's the chiller class, so... Uh -huh. Yeah, I do enjoy loading screens as well. Start yourself, and Kintoki, get yourself a uh, nice 50% of your meter. Yeah, as I've said, he's pretty good. Let's see if we can charge him up all the way. Because we'll get to see something pretty great out of that if we, if we do. Besides, these enemies are just no match for us at this point. Like, we, we're kind of way over-leveled for this part of the game. Yeah, see... He doesn't even get his third hit in. I mean, I probably could just use a seal at this point, just to... If I wanted to be able to show off his... Thingy. Which is what we're gonna end up doing in a moment, I'm sure. Or not, this could be fine. No, 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 we'll, we'll do this. Alright. Guard yourself up. And yeah, you can also see that he's got a lot of... Since his meter is very wide, we gained 100%, not just fill the meter to 100%. We should be able to take all these enemies out in one attack and... and this. Alright, check this out. This guy's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Yeah, he basically... He basically gets on the motorcycle from the cover of Judas Priest's Painkiller album and runs people over. He's... He's pretty neat. I like him a lot. We're probably going to end up pulling him out a lot as our... As our win button, basically. Excuse me. I don't think I slept a whole lot last night. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright, here we go. We've got another... Another group going on here. Yeah, I'll... I'll take Phantom for this one. Again, to mix things up a little bit. Try and show off multiple characters. I haven't been showing off everybody's skills. I've been doing kind of bad about that. I will try to remember more often. Alright, one servant. Caligula. And he is a Berserker. Which we, uh... We kind of... I guess could have guessed that from the the interface. The way the the way the class icons are ordered is that it's supposed to give you an idea as to the strategic relevance of each class, how much you have to plan for everybody, how much you have to plan for each uh, each enemy. But I don't really get a whole lot out of that. I... Like, strategizing in this game can be a real pain in the ass sometimes. And those indicators are not usually a great tell of what you need to do. So... Yeah. It's good that they're there, obviously, but... Aside from that... Uh, Right, charge. Remember to activate this skill so we can get our crits. This has pretty good uptime. For, yeah, three turns for a five turn cooldown at level 10. This is. It's not really a bad skill. I. <laughs> oh, he basically just made a Newt Newt noise. <laughs> I forgot. Sometimes his singing just sounds really silly. He's supposed to be singing because, obviously, he's the Phantom of the Opera. That's just how these things work. Oh, I need to do that. My mouse is not where I thought it was at all. Yeah, not a lot of damage there, but we get some nice crit buffs for this turn. That get arranged in a way that is not going to be the most helpful. But we're trying to get something out of this. Yay! It's a very obvious one turn, but we fill up Simaramis's meter. Simaramis, pardon me, I forget how her name is pronounced a lot. And we get a pretty easy fight, all told. Especially because we're about to just erase a large portion of this guy's health bar here. Also, I can show off this ability, Double Summon. Which... Negates class disadvantages from caster class attributes for yourself for three turns. Basically... Yeah, it gives you that double defense. You don't do double damage to any more classes, though. It's a slightly weird skill. But it does help you recharge your meter nice and fast, so that's nice. This should be another one turn, but I'm not sure if we showed off Hanging Gardens of Babylon in the previous stream where I did some event stuff. But if not, we'll get to see it now. She has a couple of different lines for this, I've noticed. Also, a little bit of, like, 3D animation there. That's kind of nice for a mobile device, but... Like, phones and tablets and stuff are a lot stronger than people will give them credit for. Or at least somewhat stronger, anyway. Alright, well, we just toasted Caligula pretty nicely. And also, as you can see, I've done a lot of grinding on the event, so... Experience levels and AP refills are nowhere near as free as they used to be. But that's okay, I don't feel like doing a ton of this today, so... 
That's fine. Yep, he's he's out of here. Oh, we got him anyway. We'll see that. <laughs> You're incredibly over the top. Yep. We get it, Nero. Nero Claudius, fifth emperor of the Roman Empire. We knew that. But we'll, pre but we'll pretend we're surprised because, you know... Big nerd. Yes, hello. You guys must be new to this franchise. You're surprised to hear about this. Take a reward and go. Okay, what do we got going on here? Well, for a start, we've got... Hero is an available guest character, but we'll get plenty of time to show her off. I'm going to instead take this quest to demo the saber support that I have on my main here. Who will be available again pretty soon. So we may try to grab her for this account because she's pretty good. Septem Montes, seven hills, seven mounts, seven. <laughs> I don't think she's been wounded at all because she hasn't had a chance to, well, not fight in there. I'll eat that. Well, I'll have it later. Maybe, but you're very loud, I, I guess. Oh, I like her. You know, Nero did some really fucked up shit, so... This is kind of strange in its way, but... Then again, most historical figures have done some fucked up shit, so if you're gonna... If you're gonna say that, I guess you gotta bury the entire franchise, don't you? Maybe that would be for the better. Never mind, never mind, I'm just... Just thinking about the fact that I've met a lot of people who are into this who are... Really... Really terrible. I, I, I don't think there's a connection, I just think I... I just think it's nerds. Nerds are terrible people, is all it is. Oh. Well, maybe. Some of them, anyway. We seek the Holy Grail, yes. What? It's your quest! I haven't seen that movie in a while. It's been... A lot of years, I'll say that. I know we have a DVD copy of it somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I don't know where, like, half of the stuff that we have is. <laughs> Our house is a mess. Oh. Yeah, people, uh, picking fights in here. And yeah, this is an important thing to note, is that when we fight enemies who 
use more evasion and invincibility and stuff, we can still charge up and get crits generated for attacking into their dodges and invincibility. So it's not a complete waste. I mean, it's not the best strategy in the world, but it's not a complete waste. Alright, we can arrange our cards like this, I think. Yeah, that second Buster card there was unnecessary, but it felt like the right way to do things. I guess. I guess. And yeah, there, wow, there's a lot of volume fluctuations in this microphone from where I position my chair and stuff. Sorry about that, I don't mean to ruin things this much. Alright, and again, we're gonna dump another quick seal in here to show this off. We're just trying to show off as much stuff as possible in this, basically. And here we go. This might cause some slowdown on the emulator. I've had some issues with it before. And you can see those two misprocs. That usually causes instant death effects on every enemy. But of course, most enemies are completely immune to instant death. Like, those enemies might have had a chance of dying from it because they're of the bronze tier. But anything that's silver or up and any servant type enemy will not get affected by instant death. It's... It's so mortifyingly useless in this game, like, even compared to a lot of other RPGs. I guess it's to prevent you doing, like, any sort of cheese ball stuff in certain challenge quests and things, but it's... It's just sad. Alright. Alright, let's, uh... We don't have Nero in here to serve as a party member, so let's go ahead and we'll put the Phantom back in here. Again, give him more chances to do stuff. Yeah, there's been a, a bit of a disunion. That's not the, uh... There was one phase where... Rome was basically ruled by several emperors at once, and I can't remember what it was. I'll have to... Double check it in a minute or two. And by a minute or two, I mean... Much later on, after I end the stream, and before I, you know, once I forget and everything. What else is going on? Yeah, are they are they all are they all members of your family? I guess is the question. Um, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll go with that. It's been pointed out that the writing in this part of the game is not very good, and that's definitely true. Like, the, the plot does kind of get, like, even worse than this. But... Yeah. You can definitely tell at this point that these characters are not being used to their fullest. Even though I feel like Nero is somewhat expanded on compared to her first appearances in the franchise, even at this point. But... That doesn't necessarily mean that there's a whole lot going on here. Are we gonna get paid? I want my green cubes, come on. Well, a title is something. I guess. Well, 
Also, this is the... This is like the same castle interior setting as was in... As was in France, I think. Which makes no sense, but here we are! This franchise is mostly just fun to poke holes in, I swear. I'm, again, I'm kind of sorry to the people who really love this series and take it very seriously because I'm sure that watching these streams must be a little hard sometimes because I am the way I am about this. Like, still a teenager. Actually, so are we, so... I don't think either of us, either of us should drinking and... Should drink. Should drinking, yeah, good, good English. And of course, we're getting interrupted in the middle of this, because why not? Give me that loading screen, come on. Eh, fuck him. Let's go. Come on. You gotta pad things out a little bit, jeez. All this necessary? At least give us slightly different music from the last story arc. That doesn't show up for a while, unfortunately. Alright, it's time. We're gonna have some more easy, easy enemies here. Alright, so I probably should just pop that on next time I have cards help charge my meter. This that way it'll go faster. Oh neat. Completely unnecessary critical hits. Hooray! And you'll notice that I'm not even like gonna set up innocent monster very often because I don't need the critical hits actually. So like why bother? These enemies are all super easy. Oh, that one didn't go down in one hit, though. That's kind of impressive. Gain a little bit of points here. Hooray! And this quest is gonna be more of the same. Again, this is why I've said before that this can kind of wear you out a little bit for purposes like this. And again, I'm going through all the story stuff here. I <laughs> I admit that I often skip it and read it later. So I'm trying, but I am trying to show off as much as possible for people on these streams. So yeah, this is a little bit. As I say, this is something that can wear someone down pretty easily. So I may end up like backseating this one, putting this one in the back burner a little bit, depending on. We have another. There's another event with like actual plot coming up soon, though, so I can show that off. But real quick, let me after I pop all of these. 
Let me just show Phantom skills real quick so you can get a look at this. Mental Corruption, this will raise his mental debuffs, his ability to mostly just to inflict charm and to not be affected by charm. It's kind of useless. And then this has a chance to charm an enemy of the opposite of, uh, of the opposite gender, which again, that phrasing doesn't exactly work very well, but whatever. We're, we're not here to police this game's dealings with gender politics because, you know, this wouldn't be the only one to not understand that stuff. And again, I don't necessarily want to scare too many people off, although I will say that there are certain things that will get me to tell you to go fuck yourself if you talk about them in a certain way. You guys know that I banned somebody at the end of, well, air quotes, and it's... It was September. I banned him after my birthday stream, after he was saying some terrible, terrible shit in here, and... I'll be very upfront about saying that I did that. I, I'm sure that some people would be like, "Oh, that's that's bad," but you know, now you do is all I can say. Is to not be that guy. Okay, so. Spears and Archers, a Lancer is going to be our best bet here, so we're going to pull out Kukulin here. We're gonna get, we're gonna actually get a good look at this version of him, because I don't even think we have him at all on this account, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm sure this will be fine, don't worry so much. This guy worries too much. We'll be okay. We don't even fight a servant at this point. I think that might be the next quest. Oh well. Keep it rolling, game. Come on. Don't you guys just love loading screens? God, I feel like I'm playing Wrath of Cortex on the PS2 again. I got a copy of that recently. I, I haven't played that in years. I also never finished it the one time I did play it because the loading times were like 50 fucking years. Maybe it'll work better on a more recent PS2 than a launch unit. I'll have to see. Also, speaking of Wrath of Cortex, the Greatest Hits version of it supposedly loads better, and by better I mean faster. Mine is not a Greatest Hits version, but it would explain why that was more expensive at the place that I picked it up. Alright, so... Real quick, to go over Kukulin's skills here, we see Protection from Arrows. This is the same thing that he has as a caster. His... His first skill here is a different one, though. Battle Continuation. This gives him a Guts buff for five turns. So if he would get killed under this, instead he will... Uh, basically regenerate, like, in Magic. He just recovers some health and doesn't really die. And hopefully the AI just gets confused. Disengage is a shield that removes buffs, removes debuffs from him. Again, pretty handy skill to have. Let's do this, and we'll show off that last skill in a moment here. We'll show off his, uh, show off his noble phantasm here against this enemy who. Should hopefully go down from just this. But just in case not, let's throw everybody's quick cards on there. For not maximum damage.
Yeah, see there, uh, the instant death effect was applied that time, even though it wasn't necessary from the, all the damage he took. He hits pretty hard, and he's very good at keeping himself alive. But you can get better than that in this game by a decent margin, in terms of both effects. It's just that he's very easily available for most players, so he's good for that reason. Well... Yeah, let's go back and get more story stuff. I'm not sleepy yet. Well, not in real life. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's a fucking nerd. I wonder if he goes on Reddit or something. another quest for today. I know that that's not a whole lot of this, but as I said, I'm not the most awake right now. Alright, so we got an assassin as the big enemy here. And the sabers are sitting in the middle. Let's let's try out this character. Just for a bit of a change. I sit here not even changing my party there all that much, even though that would be a smart idea. Alright, what's the deal? Yep, we need to... We need a little bit of backup here. Yeah, basically. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get into some fights. That's definitely quite clear at this point. Well, they seem to have been in retreat, so. Yeah, don't worry about that so much. Ghost types. Well, we've got ghost and dark type attacks. I'm sure we'll be fine. These guys won't be nothing to worry about. Probably. Probably. Alright, so we got a fairly heavy HP-wise ghost in the back of the party. Do this. And we'll take a quick look at Kiara's skills real quick after we do a quick retarget here. To show off one of the things about the Alter Ego class, in that being an extra class, it's kind of complicated to deal with. Only Berserkers and Foreigners deal double damage to Alter Egos. And by double, I think it's one and a half times for Berserkers. They deal less damage to Sabres, Lancers, and Archers. And they deal bonus damage to Assassins, Riders, and Casters. Now, skill-wise, 
got Clairvoyance Beast, which is a little distressing for anyone who knows anything about the franchise, but not this character. I'm going to do that right now. This decreases one target's debuff resistance for one turn, but also it's going to charge the meter by an incredible 50% there. That's pretty big. This skill will decrease all enemies' charge by one and their defense for three turns. And then this one gives us a ridiculous amount of buffs for one turn, but hurts us a little bit. This... Anything that reduces its user's HP cannot kill them, by the way. I don't know if that's ever been mentioned before. But if not, well, you know now. Let's do this as well. I don't think it's going to be necessary, but just in case. This is not going to be a one turn with our terrible draws. And see, we didn't even take that skeleton out in one hit. Alright. Clear this guy out. Come on. So you can get all the... All those crunchy sounding sound effects. They're they're pretty loud. Like, I have the volume on my PC down pretty low for reasons of hearing it, but it's still kind of kind of pushing it a little bit. All right, we've got hands. They're pretty basic looking enemies here. All right. Yeah, we're definitely seeing some pretty strange things that are kind of story spoilers when Kiara is out here using her skills. I'll do things this way. I'm looking to show off something at the end of this that might get me... <laughs> I, I say it might get me banned from Twitch. I've definitely seen worse out of this franchise, but it's kind of just... It's kind of weird. I'll put it that way. All right, so here we go. That really doesn't need my commentary. Although the music that plays in the background of it is pretty neat, although we definitely do not get to hear the full track of that at this point. I'll, that'll be something that gets played at some capacity on this stream as a, a full thing. But not right now. Alright, alright. One more step to this quest after that, I believe, right? All right, we're, we're engaged. It would be interesting to have more quests where you get like preset units until you reach this point in terms of this is the story thing. All right, so all of our enemies here are assassins or berserkers. So taking a caster is the best option here, which means that you're going in the back of the party. We had a, yeah, we had that guy. I should definitely change around these event CEs at some point, because I don't really need them right now. Let's go for it. Alright, we got one more set of enemies incoming here. Yeah, we, we know, they're ghosts. We've, we've heard about this. They're ghosts. Zombie ghosts leave this place. But this is our house! Ah, good old full life consequences. That's definitely a thing that existed. And I 
a hundred percent remember remember it existing. Well, like eighty-seven percent. I haven't seen it in a while. I wonder if it's still on YouTube, actually. Because I think at one point it was actually pulled from YouTube. Which is very, very unfortunate. And you'll get to see that Tamemo no Mai has some very elaborate attack animations. Also, is kind of considered to be one of the strongest supports in the game, especially for arts-oriented parties, and we will see, we'll see this happen here. Again, she gets her own music track for this, too. From another game series entirely. And she spreads some pretty nice buffs, recharges everybody pretty heavily. Doesn't deal any damage, but that's a really, really powerful set of buffs. Alright. I think this guy can take care of this entire set of enemies all on his own this turn. Oh yeah, with damage like that, that's definitely just a sure thing. Get him out of here. Get him out by Friday. It's Sunday. It's We're two days late. Hey, we didn't clear this entire wave in one go, but that's a lot of HP. Although, again, they're kind of expecting you to set up a little more, I guess, but... We're not gonna do that! Come on, we can just do... We're still at a point where we can just fuck around, basically. And there we go. Nice and easy. And this area should be cleared out by now. I actually was half expecting Caligula to show up again, just because it seemed like he wasn't dead. But no, the last enemy was just a hand. Yeah, they're thinking Lev Laner is coming back. That's a little bit... Uh... Uncertain, considering we saw Jita Ray last time being the, uh, the big cheese. But, I guess if that's what you think is going on, that's what you think is going on. Launching an expedition to Gaul, alright. I don't see why we can't do that. Front line in the war with the United Empire. Okay, so there's, like, actually a reason to it. She's not just being a weirdo. Yeah, again, that definitely, uh, that seems like something we should be involved in, I guess. We have to track down Lev if he's out there. And find that Holy Grail. But, we're not gonna get involved in that today. We're gonna pick this up, and have openings to, well, there's no story quest here at Florence, but we can do a side quest there. I'm probably gonna end up doing all those side quests off camera, but I am going to do them at some point because, as you've probably noticed, each of them does have a St. Quartz reward if we finish every chapter of them, and... So, that'll be nice to pick all that up, so that way we have a chance of getting some better characters here. And a couple of other things that are of use. So next time, we will begin in on Section 5 here in the Septem chapter. I forget how long this is, I think it's actually a little shorter than France, and... 
If I space out my streaming a little better, we'll get it done sooner than that, too. Or at least that's the hope. So, that said, I will see all of you guys in the future. Hopefully without as much of a gap between streams. And hopefully without as much technical difficulty as I had getting Wind Waker going. That's the wrong thing. There we go.